Good morning, everybody. It's 3.44 a.m. We're at 87,059 miles. Uh, so, mm, just to summarize, yesterday I basically took somebody job hunting. Uh, they were having a lot of trouble just trying to find work just by trying to apply online. And I've been telling them that, you know, the reason why I've been successful at getting jobs is because I go the opposite direction that everybody goes, okay? And I don't mean this, and I say this because we were very successful yesterday. Look, okay, well, if you don't answer all your text messages, if you don't read all of your emails, why do you think a job or a company is gonna be reading through all the resumes that are submitted into their online inbox? If you want a job, you need to network. You need to meet these people face to face. Sell yourself. If you're not actually adding value to the company, why the, excuse my language, why the fuck are they gonna hire you? You need to sell yourself. But how can you sell yourself if they don't know that you don't exist? You have to go find these people. They're not gonna come and find you. They're not gonna hand you a job on a silver plate. So what I did yesterday was that I took this person, went to three potential sites, literally went to the director's office for all of these people. Again, it's like, if, if the director's door isn't open, that's already a red flag already that you probably shouldn't be working for them. And if they tell you, oh, apply online, blah, 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 they are not hungry enough. They are not hungry enough to want your service. So I say this because I'm very passionate about this. I want all of you to be successful, but you're not going to be successful if you literally follow the crowd and follow the herd. And I'm not saying this to be a hard ass or I'm not saying this to, to you know, oh, but will this and that excuse. Dude, suck it up. Get over it. If somebody else has done it, so can you. That's it. So that's, that's my little rant for today. But other than that, um, you know, I'm very hungry and I'm very hungry to try to help as many people as possible. And so I'm willing to learn whatever the hell I need to learn to get to that point. And so if that means that I have to be raw and like down and straight and narrow with you, so be it. Because I care more about helping the people that want to make themselves successful than I care about the people that are going to be offended that don't even try. So that's all I got for you guys. Sorry, but this is a very fiery morning. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, you guys. Let's get it. I'll see you guys on the road. I'm like half contemplating if I should just document the tip money. Literally drove like some dude's like Russian girlfriend back to her like hotel room. Gave me like 20 bucks because I just got out and opened the door for her. I'm telling you, man, in a customer service industry type of thing, you have to take better care of your customers than they can take care of themselves. If you care more about your customers, if you care more about the people that you're serving, you're always going to win. And it doesn't matter what position you're in. Literally just care more about the other person than you, like, again, than anybody else is going to care about them. You win. That's all. I, like, man, I wish there were, like, different industries that I could just, like, clone myself into and just, like, set myself over there as examples just to show people. Because I'm telling you, it's really not that difficult. Just find something where you can actually just be yourself, where you actually care more about the people that you're serving like than they ever could have possibly imagined. And you win, that's it. You know, I'll show you guys. This road reminds me of like Hollow Knight. <laughs> this reminds me of that game Hollow Knight where you're like, dude, this is like that creepy spider underground forest area. It's like all spiders. Like you have to fight all the spider enemies that are just tunneling through this area. Turn Jeez, right all around trees. You road. All right, guys, it's about 8.49 a.m. Let me show you guys. 8.49 a.m. We're at 123 miles. Uh, we got about 7 hours, 38 minutes of driving. I kind of spent 8 minutes trying to chase a bounty, but I couldn't get it. Because uh, you get Premier Ride stuff, but I, I feel like they're just so rare to get a Premier Ride. But when I get them, I'm happy. Um, first half of my egg sandwich time, because I haven't had breakfast yet. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think there's much that I have to share. I, I've had some pretty interesting conversations. Uh, one of my drivers that re that I had recently just followed. Um, I mean, you guys won't know which ones you are because I'm not going to reveal. But uh, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Lots of good conversations. Meeting a lot of very like, you know, very good discussions here. Just having a lot of good discussions. No, there's not much to recap. Just... Hoping that you guys have a uh, a uh, a good uh, Wednesday. 
uh, one of the passengers that rode with me was involved in a uh, incident that we both got to experience together. Uh, so basically, nah, I don't want to jinx it, but yeah, they saw something amazing happen. I saw something that amazing that happened. They, they told me what amazing what happened. I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm just grateful. That's it. All I really have to say here is that you get the energy that you give. That's it. Comes back to, you know, help you out in the times when you least expect it. So that's all I have for this morning. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Let's keep getting it. All right, guys. Uh, we're at 97 miles. It is 10.33 a.m. We've got about nine hours, and I think I drove six minutes to this charger, so nine hours, uh, sorry, six hours, nine minutes of driving left to go. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quick little charge here, and once we bang that out, we'll go ahead and continue the rest of the drive, and hopefully we actually get to go home early, and if I get to go home early, I'm gonna treat myself to some My Hero Academia, which I'm probably gonna watch them right now. Oh, man. Because I already posted my content for today, I believe. Yeah, I did my po my posted my content for today. Had a lot of discussions with people. You know, I'm just there's a lot of fun stuff that's happening, man. And I cannot wait till I can just create like a memoir or something like that and just share with you guys all my journeys, like all the people that I meet along this journey. It literally just feels like I'm I'm living like an anime where like you meet all these people, you make new friends. And then you guys like, you know, you know what each other's working towards and you guys meet each other like years down the line. Hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Let's keep getting it. Here's a twist, guys. I ended up <laughs> driving near my homie's house and now I'm at his house eating the last half of my egg sandwich and he had some fried chicken. Oh yeah, buddy. Sheesh. Uh, alright guys, it's 6 o'clock p.m. We're at 130 miles. The whole gang's here. We got Cho, we got Alex, we got Nibba. Um, so, if you guys don't know, I had like two and a half hours of driving left. And I basically made it past the two-thirds mark for my goal for today. I could have driven a bit more. I could have gone after some bounties. But, you know what? I got to eat some fried chicken with the homies. So, that was good. Anyway, uh, I guess we just restock the car and just charge the car. And then once we're done, we head home. In the meanwhile, my hair could do me all. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday and let's keep it up. Yeah, I'm like tired. Wednesday. It's Wednesday, my dudes.